Richard, welcome back to Gloucestershire. How does it feel to be the new head coach? Um, really excited to be back here. It's obviously going to be a challenge, but one that I'm really looking forward to. Um, and tell us, what can the supporters, what can they expect from a, a Richard Dawson team? Hopefully uh, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. Um, I think the one thing I want to get across is that every day we'll be, we'll be going out and giving our best and putting in an awful lot of effort. And it's a young squad, a squad you know well from your time here before. Yeah. Um, what do you think they can achieve realistically? Um, I'm not there to say we're going to target one, one trophy because I think that you might be taking your eye off, off the other trophies. Um, what I do think is that they're a talented bunch of lads. Um, and if we just keep on nailing down every day, we, we should find a lot of consistency. And then hopefully we'll be pushing for, for all comps if we, if we do that. Yeah, I mean, obviously Gloucestershire fans have been brought up, a lot of them on a lot of success and a lot of trophies. There's a rich history here. Um, do you think there's any way of bringing back those glory days to Neville Road? Like I say, I think if, if we do the right things and the small things and we just keep looking for little improvements day by day, um, there's, there's nothing to say that we can't. And since we last saw you down here, you've been at Yorkshire as second team coach. you work worked with some fantastic coaches, some fantastic players that have gone on and had real success yeah. on an international level. What have you picked up from your experience there that you're going to take with you to this job? Uh, from a coaching point of view, working with uh, Jason Gillespie, Martin Moxon um, at the top end with the first team, and then obviously Ian Jews and Richard Dams with the academy, it's been great to work in a, in a, in a coaching setup where, where everyone's on the same message and working for the same thing. Um, and also the backroom staff, the physios and, and s &C. Uh, From a playing point of view, just working with different personalities. That's a lot of, a lot of older lads than, than what I was used to at Gloucestershire. Um, so yeah, I've, I've learned a hell of a lot of things in the, the 10 months I've been away and hopefully I can bring some of those things and put them in place here and, and yeah, use that experience. And you're down here the best part of five years as a player and then as a coach. What is it about, um, about the club or about Bristol that's, that's tempted you back here? It's a beautiful city. Um, that's, that's one thing, a lot of support that goes on down here. Um, and my, my vision is, is for the club to, to really push to, to be up there in, 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 in what people think of at Bristol, really. Um, it's got a great pavilion now. And obviously, we want things on the pitch to, to replicate that. And one thing I guess all Gloucestershire fans would say is, as well as a winning team, they'd like a team with a few Gloucestershire players in their homegrown talent. Yeah. Um, what are your plans to sort of develop the youth system here and try and get some more Gloucestershire players into the first team? So for, the, for the club to be successful over a long time, a uh, long period of time, it's going to have to be some young lads coming through. That does take time and effort, so it's not going to happen overnight. But yeah, that is one thing that I really do want to achieve is, is getting a lot of Bristol lads, Gloucester lads, um, North of the County, into the set. And sort of back to the first team, uh, I think John Bracewell said uh, in his sort of uh, statement as he left the club that it was time for the training wheels to come off. Yeah. How do you evaluate the current squad with where they're at in their development and, and how do you think you can help support them moving forward? I, I agree completely. I think it's time for guiding them rather than telling them what to do. I think that there's got to be a bit of player responsibility there um, with the coaching staff and the support staff there to help them when they need it. Um, but yeah, I completely agree with that. Then. That responsibility that the players take on will only, um, we'll only bear fruits on the pitch as well if they do that. I find it very hard to do on, on, on sort of day one, or not even quite day one yet, starting next week. Um, if we were to come back in a, a year's time or, or at the end of the season and have this discussion, where do you think Gloucester will be as a, as a club, or as a first team particularly? Obviously I'm looking for improvements in all, in all competitions, that's one thing. Um, it's obviously in the Championship to move up the table. If we, if we play well then who knows. In 50 over cricket, they played very well last year, the lads. So we're, we're looking to replicate that and, and hopefully go one step further. And the sense of T20, uh, two or three years ago, they got, got, got to a quarter final. So who knows if they, if they play well in the T20, get a bit of momentum, it's something that's achievable to get to a semi final.